Oh yeah, we we watched a movie called VFW. It was good. It was good. Should should we rate it? (coughs) COVID. Like watching a movie, or you want to play um, some Goonies Monopoly? <gasps> Check this out. Can we break the seal? Can we break the seal? I'm still debating. Still debating. Still kind of torn. You could actually make some money off of this. I don't want to. You could get at least sixty-five bucks and be a twenty-five dollar profit. <sighs> Put that drive up there. Yeah, I had to go back and get, get another it. one, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I want to go get another one. But um, I like having it. You know what would be cool one night? To do like a live stream and get like Danny or maybe a, maybe, oh, you know what we ought to do? Me, you should go over, pick up the wet one, and then drive over to Michael Ray Bauer's house and do a fucking Monopoly night at fucking the Bauer's house. At the Bauer box? Wouldn't that be the shit? I'll, yeah. I'll be down to play some fucking Monopoly, Goonies, Monopoly. It's fucking... pretty wild to see. All four of us in that little tiny uh, bower box. Do a nice little live stream with that. Maybe, maybe Brendan could live stream it. and Maybe I'll shoot some clips or whatever. That would be fun. But um, what do you think, Mr. Uh, Michael Ray Bauer, Mr. Uh, Wet One? You guys down for some Goonies, Monopoly? Fucking at the bower box? Or, you know, Brendan's house. You know, we could pick up Michael and go up there too or whatever so yeah. anyways yeah that's a uh, another pickup I got in Oregon that you guys didn't get to see um, along with uh, Olympia beer you got you picked up some of the uh, rare this beer uh, brewed fresh in the northwest uh, steel reserve 211s and uh, yeah I figured while we're up here I'd grab some Olympia beer because the only other place I know I can get Olympia beer is the Double Down Saloon in Las Vegas, Nevada. And I do like Olympia beer, so I'm drinking it right here. <clears throat> mm. Yeah. What the fuck are we going to watch? I don't know. I was thinking maybe we'd pick up, uh, since we're on an Oregon trip kick thing here. Should we go to Blockbuster and rent a movie? Um, or we or could just purchase a movie. watch one that I picked up while we were there. Ooh. This is one of the movies I actually grabbed, and neither one of us, uh, 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 neither one of us has seen this yet. Neither one of us. No, no. VFW. VFW. Uh, Fred Williamson. I know him, but um, I don't know the other guys. William Sadler. Who's the Karate Kid guy? What's his name? Which I one? Forget. Stephen Lang. No. William Martin Cove. Oh, I think Martin it's Martin. Cove. Yeah. Um, actually, it's Fred Williamson. Just kidding. Ha uh-huh. Just kidding. Ha uh-huh. It's for William. Ha uh-huh. um, Some of these veterans are in for the fight of their lives. Seem to remember in previews about uh, these old guys getting, like, fucked with at a bar. Yeah. And, um... They mess with the wrong old yeah, guys. Yeah. And so, these guys had enough of that shit and decided uh, it was time to get back. Look, he's got a, uh... He's got a stick. People. Yeah. He's got a stick of death. Yeah. I used to have, in my garage, like, way back in the day... You know, before I had guns and there was like creepers walking around and people's houses were getting breaking into. So I made a stick of death. And uh, oh. basically like a baseball bat with a whole bunch of nails coming out of it. Pretty illegal, but <laughs> I felt like, and then I and then I would, I would my excuse was I would use it to wrap up all the cobwebs like in the garage inside the house and stuff. But so then if you were getting mashed with that, you were getting cobweb brain too, so... Uh, but anyways, a, a Joe Bego's film, and uh, I thought we'd check this out. It is one of the movies I picked up at Blockbuster, six ninety nine or three for twenty deal. Yeah. Um, probably more than I would have paid for this. You know, like if I wasn't at Blockbuster, but I was uh, supporting the cause, keeping yeah. that Blockbuster going. Yeah. So, anyways. Uh, VFW. What do you get? You guys, you guys, uh, you I've guys. Seen it? Seen seen it? It? Is it any good? Yeah. You know, here's the thing. I remember seeing previews for it and stuff. And then when it came out, nothing. Like crickets. So hmm. I don't know if it got bad reviews or what. Hmm. Um, or, you know, just a lot of these action movies you just don't hear much about after they come out. Hmm. So. Hmm. 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 
So let's check it out. Um, what I'm wondering is, what does VFW stand for? Veterans of Foreign Wars. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And there you have it. You got to go down to your local VFW. See, that's where I think they were hanging out, at the VFW. Oh, okay. Yeah, VFW is like... Um, I don't know if your dad's a member of a VFW or not, Probably. but he should be. But, he is. Um, but, I mean, I could be a member of a VFW, even though, you know, I mean, like, I didn't really see combat, but, you know, but there was a war going on at I've the time. i seen combat. So, oh, yeah? Was it a good movie? No, it was the uh, Atari 2600 game. Oh, I saw, oh yeah. Uh, I saw Mortal Kombat. Oh, there you go. Yeah, movie sucked. First one was okay. Um, but, um, anyways, yeah. Let's check it out. Maybe probably, you know, but before we get boring. Hey, um, yeah, we need to beef up our view time. So, even if you guys are bored, open up a new tab and leave us playing, okay? <laughs> we need the minutes. Just, don't no, exit out. Just open a new tab and just, you know. Let, let the video it, roll. Know, let it go. Let it go. And here we go. Gonna be a buddy, buddy. Is that a Fangoria movie? I don't know. Oh. Oh. There's a lot of blood in it. Well, that's cool. Gotta watch the movie previews of the, uh, you know, whatever uh, Peter Griffin advertisements for the companies. <laughs> Motherfucker production. Oh no, media finance capital. Stupid. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> yeah. As America's opioid crisis worsens, addicts turn to a new drug. I love for whatever the fuck. Street name Mike. Cities become more so neighbors. Old age driving. Yeah, it does have that feel to it, huh? Sound. We just need Jean Claude Van Damme to come out and start whooping ass. We already saw their names. As long as there's no walking in this movie. Oh god, oh god. <laughs> well, this might be good, man. This might be good. If we're going back to, like, some good 80s kick-ass, like, slash horror cheese, that'll be nice. Two hours later. And that's it! It's over! Motherfucker! It's official! It's time for a review! Hit the lights, man. I'm not a beer. I'm, I'm gonna go get a beer while you hit the lights. Buffy's getting the lights. I'm getting more beer. Williamson is uh, related to um, the other one. You don't think so? I don't think so. Hey, so in this movie, VFW, there is an actor, Fred Williamson, who we all know, and there's like the younger African-American gentleman, Tom Williamson. Fluffy, I'm thinking like, come on, the coincidence? He was a former Oakland Raiders Kansas City Chief football star. Yeah, but who's his dad? No, that was the dad, Fred Williamson. Mm. If okay. that's his dad. 
So, but anyways, Tom Williamson, Fred Williamson, how can they not be related? It gotta be like uncle or dad or something. But this movie right here was pretty good. It was kind of long. I'll admit that. Like, they could have shortened it up. You know, I don't know what it was like, about an hour and a half or something. They could have definitely made it like about 15, 20 minutes shorter. Um, but, like, it had some fucking hilarious moments. A lot of crazy blood, like, people getting chopped up and shit. It was over shit. the top. Over the top. It was. Over the top. Yeah, um, but I enjoyed it for the most part. It was pretty good. You know, fucking laughed a little bit. Had a good time watching it. Drank some beers. That's popcorn. Had some popcorn. Got some bean and cheese burritos. We're getting a microwave here in a little bit. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. But like you mentioned earlier, definitely had like kind of throwback 80s feel with the music mm-hmm. and like kind of the grindhouse kind of feel grindhouse actiony grindhouse kind of movie um I, yeah i thought you know it definitely had a lot of fun moments um but there was some parts that were dragged out a little bit um but you know all in all pretty entertaining movie pretty fun and um you got some beer over there good mm-hmm. That's a- I've been drinking my Olympias, man. I'm trying to sh- make no longer. It was, it was almost like a one location type film. Almost. Yeah. Almost. Yeah, because they, they, they had the VFW location, then the place across the street. I mean, With like, all the bad people. It's all right there. Yeah. Basi- basically, basically, it was all right there, basically. Basically. But, um, you know, I enjoyed it. Was the greatest movie of all time? No. But was it an action adventure? It was definitely like, enjoyable. You know, you're bored on a Saturday evening, you want to pop some, man. Eh, I'm not mad that I bought it. And I supported the you know, you know, Blockbuster, so I'm not mad. Support a Blockbuster, that's a win-win. For and you don't have to drive all the way up to Bend, Oregon to return it. I know, yeah. What a rough fucking sucked ass. Yeah. Ran it yeah. The colors in the movie at the beginning probably like wasn't the greatest. The grading. Oh. Too too much blue. Yeah. Okay. So when they're 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 like standing at the bar, they were kind of you know like when you're in a bar, it's kind of low lit and everything. You got the neon lights and everything going around. So yeah, they put you know the lighting for like the guy that was standing behind the bar. He was pretty fucking blue at some points. And, you know what kind of uh, ass? Uh, oh, that was that was impressive. The cool yeah. part is like if you were watching the uh, yourself an episode of Cheers. Yeah, dude, fucking like Norm in there. Norm was sitting at the bar. It was fucking awesome. Where yeah. bad knows your name. Yeah, dude, have I ever mentioned I've been there? You did. Uh, I had I snorted a little bit right there. I said, uh, "Fucking, I got a metal tin kind of sign thing out of my garage that I actually bought." At the, uh, I think it's called the Bull and Finch, the real oh, name it? for the Cheers Bar. You actually t- 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 walk down the walk stairs. Down. Yeah. Sorry, we're um, closed. Yeah. But um, <laughs> that was a good ending to the series. Um, so, uh, my VFW at the original, or not the original, the original Bull and Finch. They, uh, it, it's kind of like the bar. Something like the wood grain tones and stuff a lot look the same, but it, it, it isn't the same kind of bar under underground there, because um, it is all underground. But there is in Boston a recreation, a bar you can walk in that looks exactly like Cheers TV show. There's so. a there's a Cheers bar in San Diego. Is there? There is. Does it look like Cheers? I never the cheer sign. I've never been inside, but it does have the same exact cheer sign on the outside, dude. I know there's a there's a bar in San Diego. I can't remember what it is, but it's underground, just like Cheers. And you go in, and you can walk all around the bar, and it's just like Cheers. I don't. It wasn't called huh. Cheers though, but it's in the gas lamp down there downtown. San yeah, the, Diego. The, this Cheers that I'm talking about, called Cheers. It's Cheers, but um, it's. Uh, Oh, is it really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, hey, more power to him. 
Yeah. It's a good show, you know. Where everybody knows you're Tony Danza and, you know, Susan Sarandon and... <laughs> but anyways... Michael J. Fox. Back to the movie. All them folks, you know, chilling around a bar having some birds. Back to the movie. VFW. Oh, yeah. VF, we watched a movie called VFW. It was good. It was good. Should ch- 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 rate it? <coughs> COVID. <coughs> COVID. Where's my mask? <coughs> <coughs> Sure, right? Yeah. Uh, so, uh, one beer or zero beers. If you didn't have to watch any beers. <laughs> watch any beer? Are you drunk? <laughs> you didn't have to watch any beers. <laughs> it would be the greatest movie of all time if you had to watch. It would be, it would be the greatest beer of all time. <laughs> if you had to watch 12 beers, it would be the greatest movie of all time. <laughs> no. 12 the worst. <laughs> you Zero's are, the best. You have lost it. No. Zero best, twelve worst. Mm, mm, mm. One block and There you go. There you go. Um, this movie right here, I'm giving it a six. Here, I'm giving it a six because you know why? It had some great splatacular moments with some blood, axes and heads and shit like that. But then there was some kind of boring parts. So, um, you know, I'm giving it a six. If, if if they shorten it up, I probably would have given it maybe like a five. Uh, um, and they, there was, you know, they probably could have spiced it up a bit. Like they had that, you know, badass fucking Jeep. Dude, I wanted to see 50 cal slugs fucking just demolishing that building across the street. Didn't happen. You know, maybe something like that might have been fucking, you know, upped it, you know, a little higher. But all in all, I'm giving it a 6 out of 12. Right down the middle of the road. Boo. What do you think? What are you giving it? I actually enjoyed it. It made me feel like I was watching an 80s flick. I understand that. The music. Yeah. And yeah. there was a lot of gore in there. There was a lot of gore. There was a lot of people getting like uh, hacked and slashed and gory gore gore. I'm gonna give it a five. Wow, that's a good rating. I, I enjoyed myself. Rate. I I enjoyed myself. I accept that rating. You better. <laughs> Bitch. Here's OGP. <laughs> Johnny! Get the fuck out of here when I'm working. (laughs) All day is a dull day. (laughs) All work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. So that gives us an average of uh, a uh, fucking 5.5. Five. five and a half. Five and a half on the Richter yeah. scale. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's it. So five and a half. That's our recommendation on VFW. It was not a bad movie. wasn't the greatest movie of all time. I am not mad for buying it. If you watch it, I don't think you'll be disappointed. Check it out. And with that being said... We will see you guys next time. Hup, hup.